In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. <laughs> to celebrate everyone's first time meeting each other. I thought they're going to celebrate their last time together. <laughs> Goodbye. Eugene? Sugu. Oh my god. Tiffany's here. Recon? Recon. Uh, you can't see Recon here. Recon. Cucked right now. Recon is being cucked by a person with a terminal illness. Recon, bro, just wait a couple months. They're gonna die, then you can try it, but you know that it's still not gonna happen, Recon. I'm sorry. It's just it's just not meant to be, bro. You gotta move on. <laughs> Do we have enough time? Is this kid gonna be alive by the time we can beat the next floor boss? <laughs> oh shit, we're going! Wow, that was the... And we did it, guys. Woo! We did it! That's gotta be the... So, 44 seconds. When the, the, the fight... It's a four... Five... Ten seconds, like nine second raid. Wow. Damn, that's amazing. Yeah, Tiffany, let's go! Back to school. Does the creepy teacher matter? What is Nanasna? Some wholesome songs playing. Monument, our name. So they're speedrunning all different events that happens before they die. I see. Okay. Woo! 11 hit combo! Kirito the Fraud loses again. Do you think Kirito lost there on purpose? Because it's kind of rude to beat like a, you know, a make-a-wish kid. You, you think Kirito lost here on purpose? What do you think? What do you think? Like, like, I don't know. It's... He's not dual wielding. He, he is, he's, he's not going to go all out. He, he can't dual wield, but he has the, you know, the different way of dual wielding. But anyways... Time up. Wow, everybody's so happy. Wow, mom, better scores. Report card. It just can't be anime without a Kyoto field trip where, you know, we go up in the fucking mountains and there's bamboo trees and shit. I swear to God, every fucking slice of life anime has this moment, man. Or at least every slice of life episode that goes to Kyoto field trip does. Like, we did this shit in high school, DXT. Wait, did she just try to feed us? Did she just try to feed Yuki there? Okay, I, I, I thought Asuna tried to feed Yuki there through the fucking cam. No, no, no. Wow, so happy, happy, happy. But now we gotta face reality. Spring is coming. Oh shit, that's the fucking doctor. Okay, Kono-san's condition has deteriorated. Can you come immediately? Here we go. We knew this was happening. This isn't a surprise. Everyone knows that this is gonna happen today. Let's get through it. Oh, fuck. Mother- <gasps> Mother Rosario. Sasa. Who is Mother Rosario? Surprise, someone rich as Asuna doesn't have like a driver that could drive her to the hospital. <laughs> the medicure boy is off. You got the money at the 40 minutes. Holy shit, dude! It's over next time. なんでですか it's a super age plus medicuboid, everything just so fucked, dude. It's not also HIV, I think age and HIV. I forget the exact science for it. Yeah, HIV leads to age or something. Yeah, it's like the precursor. I forget the exact science, but yeah, it's kind of the same, but not really. I don't think being a strong swordsman in a VR MMO is gonna defeat Super Aids, but we can hope. Oh! 
This fucking soundtrack, dude! This fucking soundtrack, dude! Stop it! She can barely talk. Does, does she actually? Does she actually? Imagine we accidentally misread what Yuki was saying there with her mouth, you know? And Asuna's like, oh, Meruki, but, but Yuki was like, please, no more. Stop! Stop! I need no! Let me rest in peace! Put me down! Kill me! Yeah, One last time! This fucking soundtrack again. It is fucking soundtrack again. Sunset lighting exactly. The 11 sword? The sword itself? The combination attack? 11 hit piece combo, right? I don't know. I don't know. Destroys a tree. A symbol. Paper? Is that the sleeping night? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> if she rests, she's dead, dude. Original source skill. We're inheriting it. We're inheriting it. It's right. Oh, bro, please open it before she passes, bro. Imagine it doesn't fucking make it in time. I thought it was called Mother Rosaria, but Mother's Rosario. 11 hit piece combo. There it is. There is the title drop. Honestly, they fucking baited us. They fucking fraud. This is, this is fraudulent as fuck. They put an apostrophe S, Mother's Rosario. If you, it's a totally different thing. If you say Mother Rosario, you're expecting a person. If you say Mother's Rosario, now you're expecting something else. Fucking liar, but here we go. Wonder when we're gonna use it in the future. What does Rosary mean if Rosario is Spanish for Rosary? We remember her through this! She'll forever live on! Rosary is a prayer cross? I see. We're not saying goodbye. We're here to do see you later. Because... Do I need to finish? I'm sorry! I need to fucking make the jokes right now so I don't fucking cry! <laughs> they didn't even animate Nori's ass crack there! That's how serious this moment is! <laughs> Hmm? All of ALO is Eugene showing up too? <sighs> this is so <sighs> We haven't seen these motherfuckers since a long time, but like they they're all showing up every race. Will the spree guns show up? I think that's them! Every race showed up! Holy shit. The fairies are actually putting the racism aside all for Yuki. I don't even know, like, oh, dude, the fucking tears. I was holding it pretty strong, even when, like, just Kirito and friends showed up. But everyone else showing up in this game, the entire player base, they all put aside their differences to show one last farewell to the greatest swordsman in ALO. Like, wow. Wow. To inspire others! No! Nah, you left an impact on everybody here. 
Rickon's here too! Eugene! Please say now I know why. I'm not crying! <laughs> oh, the one thing that I just wish would fucking happen right now, bro. The one thing. Here comes some ASMR nose blows. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> if only the one last thing that could truly make this the most fucking heartwarming scene. Kaiba fucking descends from the heavens. Kaiba fucking descends from the heavens, takes Yuki, and then his, and somehow Yuki comes back into the future as Kaiba, you know, made what's possible for him, like, like for Yuki. You know what I mean? Oh my fucking god. <gasps> Is that the older sister? What is this supposed to represent? Is this supposed to be her old sister back in the day? Mom or sister? Nason, what is it? Is it mom? Everyone will remember you. As fucked up as this is for the author to write this. I don't know. I guess it's representation. At the very least, the send-off was so good. This... Uh, say what you will about this arc and how some people are like, Oh, this shit's unnecessary. Why it's so fucking sad? I, I think the core theme that the author is trying to teach you is like, live every day to the fullest. Because sometimes, even just having basic health is such a privilege that you take for granted. And the way that it ended... It's fucking amazing. I SAO touching like these emotional themes at the end like this. This is like actually really, really emotional, impactful. Memorial service. It's it's not over yet. Memorial service time. <sighs> are these all ALO players? Who do you think these people are? Because Yuki's memorial service. I don't think a lot of people kind of knew her except in the game, right? Do you think that these are all the different full dive like ALO players? Fuck the hospital staff though. Oh my god, that's her cam right there. That's her cam, bro. And we still have Mother's Rosario to remember on by. Man, we straight up should have had this into Tonki, man. Oh, fuck, bro. Fuck, just like a... a having, ha, watching Tonki arc right now after this would have been so soul healing, man. And then go into Ordinal Scale and then Season 3, like, fuck. This is just soul-crushing, man. This, I'm just emotionally drained already. Like, these episodes actually just fucking kill me. It, 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 it's so... I don't know. It's just so emotionally draining where I just run out of energy. It's like, oh, fuck. Who is this? Oh, her. We won't have to say goodbye to her later, too, for a fuck me. Also, what happened to the teacher, by the way? What about the shitty teacher that put Yuki in the spot? What was that all about last episode? Something about that was so weird. I thought we were going to continue with that and him being some kind of antagonist. But, like, what the fuck? Does he not matter? It's just, did he want to give Yuki a spot? Like, a, did, maybe he wasn't evil. Maybe he wanted Yuki to feel involved immediately. So even though he put her on the spot, it's like, it's like, or his way of getting her involved into the class? I'm not sure. Anshun. Are you sure? Leukemia acute. Oh, why every? I mean, we knew they're all terminal, but is it terminal? Is it getting better? I don't know. Can we have hope that Shuni will- I don't fucking know. What? <gasps> Miracle! Miracle's gonna happen! 
Yuki might have passed on, but looks like Shune is going to live on for her sake. Damn. And I'm not sure if you guys know what remission really means. Remission means that when you have cancer, you can do chemo. It's really taxing on your body. You get like into, you turn into Yuki's body. You get all shriveled up. My mom had the same thing. And then they go into remission and it gives you hope. My mom had the same thing. She had ovarian cancer. It was like stage four. I'm like, holy fuck, what the fuck is happening right now? Literally came home from college one day and she was bald. And I'm like, what is happening? News drop. And then she went through chemo. And then remission happened. And we thought, thank fucking God. Thank fucking God it's going to be fine now. But here's the really cruel thing about that. Here's a really cruel thing about that. Just because you're in remission doesn't mean that you're cleared. The odds of it coming back is extremely high. And a lot of people that's never gone through these kind of things gain false hope, which then gets shattered. So I hope it's everything that's going to go okay for her. But like, just because, you know, things are going better, it's, it's a really fucked up thing. Why does it even fucking exist, man? Why? Does it even fucking exist? It's almost as if the world wants to just like get rid of us and we're a fucking virus on earth. I don't know. Nothing you can do about it, bro. You can try to be the healthiest person possible. You can try to be the most active and healthy person and don't do any drugs and no smoking and drinking and you still get fucked. Sometimes you'll see a fucking crack in the street that's still alive at the age of 70 somehow. And it's just like, I see that shit. I see grandma smoking on the bus and all the other shit. I'm like, huh. They're alive, and my mom's dead. There's no justice in the world. There's no God. Why would God ever do this to me? Why would ever my God do this to me? My mom didn't even turn 50. She died at 49 on Christmas. You know how fucked that is? In the hospice on Christmas, I had to check for her last dying breath. That was my Christmas gift. It's like... Something, and, and, and from then on, I just told myself, like, I basically use that whenever I'm feeling sad or depressed or there's some kind of problem happening in my life. I use that memory to remind myself, nothing will be as worse as that. If I can get over that, everything else is fucking trivial. So I kind of remember her like that, but ugh, this permission thing, man permission thing man your mom got a brain tumor half a year to live bad outcome you might survive hey i'm glad that happened man at the end of the day rng luck right you can't do anything about it so rather than worrying about something you can't control sometimes it's better to just focus on the things you can do forget about the stuff you can't and just move on and try to live a fun life every day because tomorrow you could die that could be fucking it you never know you gotta live on strong for her now. So she feels guilty because she's the only one that's gonna survive and everyone else is gonna die, huh? Well, you gotta live extra strong for them then, huh? Tatakai. Okay. That's a positive way of living on, right? あの小さい背中にすごく Okay. That's the government official, right? That's the guy from earlier GGO, right? Or is he doctor? What can we do with it now? Oh, it's a doctor? Never mind. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. So it's looking like 
while Yuki was a test rat voluntarily and helped her, you know, it helped her live some normal life and met other people to make it fulfilling near the end. The data with it. Now we can basically just use it on other people and help them in terminal care and everything will be really good. Is that it? <laughs> My man, you need to understand some. You you can't just come in here right now. Like have like under read the fucking room, bro. You I just come on, man. Just how are you? <laughs> have some tact, bro. Have some fucking respect for Yuki, man. Like how are you gonna come in here and just fucking fucking use your bits and fucking pin a fuck? You have missed, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, bro, just. <laughs> it's a little bit of comedic relief, actually. Maybe we should be appreciating him. Bro just came in with the fucking. Did you know in an interview with Mushoku Dancing Novel? <laughs> hey, hey. We can use that as a comedic, comedic relief, okay? We can relieve really as a comedic relief. Alright, let's get back into it. <laughs> さっき初期設計の外部提供者とおっしゃいましたの is it who i don't know どうしたのキリトくコジロリンコあったこともあるその人は外部中のヒースクリフの救出でヒースクリフ外部技術の研究をしていたこの外部技術の研究をしていたつまりかやばかやばあきひこかやばかやばあきひこ this fucking guy! So... More redemption for Kaiba, right? <laughs> more redemption for Kaiba. <laughs> because, right? SAO, bad. People diving, locked in, dead, that bad. But, but... ALO Kaiba was cool. IED, Heathcliff, Excalibur, you know, that was cool. And now, Medicube Boyd experiment early on set. He, he basically is now... Hell, he, his technology now is able to help a lot of people with the terminals. This is this is great. This is <laughs> is, they, oh, is just the cascading events of Kaiba redemption. Because <laughs> he often realized, ah, oh, shit, I gave a real bullshit explanation of what Kaiba wanted to do. This well, people are upset. What can I do about this? Let's try to make him better every season. Every part, we'll do something, insert Kaiba, and he'll, and you guys will start to love him more. And let's have every villain so fucking shitty that you're gonna wish that you had Kaiba back. This, this is pretty cool. Alright. Kaiba mentioned. Post credit scene. Who, who are you showing, Klein? You don't have a daughter? Is, is she showing his gotcha pull? Did he pull a lolly in a gacha game? Hey! <laughs> Look! <laughs> Look at my new pull, guys! <laughs> what, what is he sh- Cause like, this would usually happen if you have like a daughter or some kind of family. Like, Look, it's my family! But like, Klein, he's still looking for a girlfriend in the game. <laughs> what the fuck is he showing? <laughs> Who is she? New girlfriend? New girlfriend? Okay, Yui has reclaimed the throne back here. ありがとうございます、パパ。ありがとう、キリトくん。いや、勇気が変え。近づけば近づくほど理想的な未来が来るものかと思ってたよ。人を惑わせたりすることもあるんだよな。でも。それで救われる人消えたあの男がどう思っているのかわからないけど。カヤバ。カヤバ's will inherited. かもな。くらったよ。なんか手のひらで踊らされてるみたいで。けどアスナ。君はいつまでも一緒にいてほしい。forever?でもついていくから。いきなり曲だ。いきなり曲だ。いきなり曲だ。いきなり曲だ。い
Tonki arc should have happened after this to make us feel better. <sighs> Mother's Rosario. Oh, it's it's good. It's objectively great writing. It's just, you know, it's a, such a sad, sad story, which I guess it helps as representation because this it, this does happen in real life, right? This is a, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people will encounter at some point of their friends or family, you know, encountering cancer or terminal ill. And I'm sure a lot of people may be able to relate to this. So they also, the Yuki is farewell, you know, it was so heartwarming. Everyone showing up at the end, no matter all the races going on in the fairy game, they all showed up. It was so impactful on an emotional level, like 10 out of fucking 10 episode now the game plan is to ignore ordinal scale and go into so season three because no one has commented telling me to watch ordinal scale so i don't know what i'm gonna do by the way ordinal scale most likely will be patreon exclusive content movie content i'm probably gonna lock it into patreon if anything maybe i'll do some kind of teaser or just like a little part series but that's what's gonna happen so you either watch it with me live on twitch or you can sub to patreon and onwards we go to season three and that's it for me take care